so these are three watches that I actually purchased and and I'm not into this for investment or whatever but all of these <clears throat> doubled or more uh, in sort of the value I per or what I purchased them for a few years ago and what they are currently what the current market is here in September of 2021 uh, Submariner is in 07 50th anniversary Submariner now, I'm not going to sit here and brag about the uh, dollars or difference but uh, this this is currently selling for more than two times what I personally paid for it. And the second one is an FP Jorn Elegant 48 that has increased at least four times in the value or what I paid for it and what they currently sell for in 2021. And then the third one is the Audemars Piguet Offshore Diver which is more than slightly more than doubled in, uh, in the value they sell for today and what I personally paid for it a couple years back. Watch market's kind of crazy. I don't know if it'll stay this way, but it is what it is, man. I am not going to be a, a safe queen though. I wear, you know, we wear all, not we, I wear all these watches and uh, definitely these are keepers for sure. But it's tempting, <laughs> tempting to sell them when you see the difference in what you paid and what they are valued at now. So these three are, you know, pretty big contrast. You got two dive watches and I guess for FP Journ, the Elegant is kind of on the sportier side. <clears throat> but uh, as far as size goes, this is, 40 across, quite thin, extremely comfortable. Uh, they have a, quite a variation of um, different rubber straps you can get for it. This one's been on it the longest. It's kind of, uh, you know, obviously it's green. It seems to kind of go with everything. Not that I'm like freaking out about matching watches with outfits. A woman might, but anyway, so that's a really cool watch. And again, that increased value wise like crazy. And then, of course, the Rolex Submariner. You know, it is what it is. Everyone knows the Submariner. Again, 40 millimeter watch. It's interesting, these two are the same, well, size um, measured across the typical way. It's, you know, the size of watches are measured. You can see they are the same. They're both 40. Unless this is 39, I, it's, I'm, I want to say it's 40, and then the 48 and the Elegant 48 name is the lug to lug with. So, look how similar they are. It's kind of interesting. Similar yet wildly different, but as far as the width or thickness, it, you know, if you didn't have the bezel, they'd be almost identical. Then of course the AP Offshore Diver listed at only 42 millimeters, but looks like wildly beyond that. I'm guessing the 42 is here to here, here to here. Feels like about a 44 or 45. And then to get an idea of the, the Offshore Divers are the thinner of the offshores because you don't have the extra size to uh, house the chronograph. So it's not quite as giant as some people might think, but kind of um, not a bad three watch collection. All right, take care.